Hi everyone, Grant K here for the Flame Learning Channel. In this video, we'll go through the new connected color workflow using the Flame 2017 product line. This workflow has been specifically designed for colorists who are in the middle of a grading session and may need to perform VFX work that may not necessarily need to be offloaded to another workstation or VFX artist. For example, there might be a small retouch, sky replacement, title or any VFX related work. If these tasks don't take long to complete, it makes sense to do it on the same workstation during the current session. So the typical scenario is that you can be grading in Lustre and then you can take the source media directly into the flame compositing environment. You perform any VFX work, but one big benefit is that the grade metadata from Lustre automatically comes into Flame in the form of a node. This is totally automated and the grade can be applied to the source media and the composite in the context of Flame. And finally, you can return to Lustre with the rendered VFX and the original color decisions are still present and editable in the Lustre timeline. So what you have here is a data connection and no manual intervention has been done to keep this connection. This means you can develop your looks at any stage in this interactive process. This is all achieved with a click of a few buttons and is an artist-friendly workflow between the two applications. Now before we start, I need to mention that this workflow is only available in the Linux versions of the Flame product line. I will be using Flame Premium but this will also work if you have a separate Lustre and Flame or Lustre and Flare license on the same workstation. In all these configurations, we are utilizing the GPU pipeline in all the Flame products to make this work. Please consult the online documentation for any setup and configuration of these applications. Now starting in Lustre, you have a timeline that is in the middle of being graded. Please note that GPU is enabled as we are using the GPU pipeline for grading and soon to be composite. So a grade has been applied to these images. Nothing too fancy, just your everyday look development. Let's say on this shot, your client decides that the image needs some quick retouching. Instead of stripping out the shots, locating media and exporting images, you can select the shot and go to the effects menu. This is a set of plugins and there are a few available natively to Lustre. In order to connect the current shot to the flame compositing environment, you change the option to reveal the batch options. Here you will find a create button. This will be an empty menu the first time you apply the batch setup to any shot. When you click create, flame will launch in the background and eventually you will find yourself in the batch node based environment. Now here are a few pointers. Before any of this, you should create a Flame project with the Lustre project creation enabled. This means that the Flame project as well as the Lustre project will have the same settings. And if Flame is already open in the background, Lustre will load the batch setup into the currently active project. So make sure the last active Flame project was the one you intend to use with Lustre. Now at this point, Flame is running in the foreground and Lustre is running in the background. If you are working with a dual DVI configuration, you can see both applications at the same time. And equally with the broadcast output through any 3G AJA cards or newer hardware, you can go through the preferences menu of each application and choose whether the broadcast output will be locked to that application or switched to the other depending what is in the foreground. This is something I obviously can't show in this video, but you can set these outputs accordingly. Now in Flame or Flare for that matter, a batch setup is created from Lustre and it has a few components. By default, in the two up view, you get a contextual view of the result and a flow graph. The first node is a source node containing the Lustre source media from the selected shot. Switching to the result view, it is the ungraded media. The second node is a Lustre node. 
When you select that, you should see your Lustre Grade in the result view. So all the Lustre Grade information is now a node in the batch flow graph and this has major benefits which we'll touch on in a moment. The final node that is created with the batch setup from Lustre is the Write node. Now since Lustre has pre-configured the render path for you, there is no need to change any setting in this node. So it's great that this will automatically tie back into the Lustre timeline in a non-destructive workflow. Now in the dual view mode, you can see the flow graph and the result view. Incidentally, if you toggle with Alt Tab between Lustre and Flame, you will note that the batch launched on the same frame as Lustre. For example, if you spotted an issue on frame 5, when you launch Flame, it will also be on frame 5. It's a small feature but removes the hassle of hunting for specific frames you've already found in Lustre. So a good question is what can you really do with this? Well because you're in a creative VFX environment and all the processes such as source and grading are represented as nodes in a pipeline, you can now start inserting and building your own effects. For the sake of time, I'll switch to a custom node bin and drag out my composite with some VFX work. All I need to do is connect the source clip into the composite and there is our result. Next, I want to apply the current Lustre Grade on top of the composite. I'll take the output of the composite and connect it into the Lustre node. The Lustre Grade is applied in the context of the VFX batch environment without having to go back to the Lustre Grading application. So if the grade highlights any issues in the composite, you can fix them straight away without flip-flopping between applications. Now I would like to emphasize that the VFX composite is happening before the Lustre node or pre-grade. This will have implications on how you edit the grade back in Lustre. If we added effects after the Lustre node, this will also have different implications on how you edit the grade back in Lustre. We'll examine all the different scenarios in an upcoming video. For now, you can press Render and the batch composite will process. Once the render is complete, you can Alt Tab back to Lustre. As I scrub the time bar, you can see that the frames rendered in Flame are updated in the selected shot. Looking at the effects menu, there is a lot of information being displayed relevant to the shot that was sent to the batch creative environment. This tells you where the batch setup was created as well as where the batch renders are stored. This all ties back into the project creation and configuration in both Lustre, Flame and Flare. Please check the online documentation if any manual configuration is required. To the left of the interface, you can actually disable and enable the VFX renders to see a before and after. Now underneath the setup and render paths, you have a text representation of the Lustre pipeline. Each part of the grade pipeline has two editable states, soft and baked. The workflow is non-destructive in both scenarios and we'll go through each one. So in the case of this VFX render, the grade is set to soft. This is because the VFX composite occurs before the grading information. The grade did not need to be rendered with the composite to produce the render result. Therefore, if you switch back to the grading tools, you can perform multiple adjustments and continue refining the look development on top of the VFX render. If you needed to edit the composite to tweak it, just go back to the Effects menu and click the Edit button. You'll switch back into Flame and be prompted with a message to replace the batch setup. Just click Replace and the saved batch setup from earlier is reloaded. This will also refresh with the adjusted grade in the Lustre node so that you can see the changes that were just performed. You can now go ahead and tweak the composite to get the look you want. Once you are done, click the Update pull-down menu and click Update Lustre. Now press the Render button. Once this is done, you can Alt-Tab back to Lustre. 
Ultimately, I'm sure you can see how flexible the workflow is between Lustre and Flame. And you can keep switching between the two depending on what tasks you need to accomplish in the grading session. Now before this video concludes, I need to remind you that the Connected Colour workflow is built on a standalone configuration of Lustre, Flame, Flare or Flame Premium. This is not a networked multi-workstation solution. So whether you are a dedicated colorist or flame artist grading a production in Lustre, this workflow can definitely enhance your productivity for performing VFX work in the context of a grading session. In an upcoming video, we'll go through all the different scenarios that you can perform with the Lustre node, all editable and non-destructive. Be sure to check out the other videos covering the features, workflows and updates to the Flame 2017 products. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Learning Channel for future videos.